Hey everyone, it's Mike with Monkey Fab. Um, today we're gonna review the uh, we're gonna unbox, not review. Um, review is gonna be a long, ongoing process. We're gonna unbox the Samadre or the Su Madre uh, Tex um, Tig machine that we ordered last Sunday. So it's been a week. So. Um, so I was kind of impressed to find out that uh, you know, I was impressed. I was I was I was happy um, that you know uh, we ordered the machine. The, the the eBay company was out of California, and the same night I ordered it, it you know they did the they printed the shipping label. Um, that doesn't always mean uh, much of anything, uh, but apparently they got it out the next day or the next two days or so and it came uh, FedEx and was actually delivered yesterday which is a Saturday um, to me in this box and uh, it's your typical looks like you know what you expect from something from China uh, cheap cardboard and cheap yellow um, straps and cheap tape and whatever uh, but it, it's kind of hefty and although I wanted to pop it open Yesterday, as soon as I got it, um, I resisted that, and I figured I'll, I'll do it on tape, so you guys can um, can enjoy watching the uh, the joy or the uh, the crushing crushing disappointment of our, our cheap three hundred fifty dollar Chinese TIG welder. So without further ado, and if I can do this without cutting myself on tape, that would be great. So my expectations, I really don't expect anything much other than to get the machine uh, as it looked in our picture, which was blue and it had uh, a torch and some gas hose and some grounding strap, and that was about it. So, uh, so here we go. We got uh, some kind of plastic urethane um, fiber laced hose. Should work. And a fancy little uh, bag that looks like those uh, things they sell at the um, grocery store that tell you that you're bad and you use plastic bags and you should buy their bags and take them home and bring them with you. And then we got our machine itself. Right there, trying to scratch up my, my poor Phoenix, my poor Pontiac Phoenix, any more than it already is. And we got a grounding strap and a speaker. It's broken, <laughs> parts are falling off of But uh, I don't know anything about stick welding, so. I'm not really too terribly concerned about this. Got a couple clamps, probably for the gas. We got an instruction manual. So, owner's manual. So, um, I don't know if you ever ordered anything that comes in as Chinese parts. You're always just like, you know, it has an owner's manual. And, uh, and will it do any good? No. I expect nothing of it except poor English and uh, arc emissions may be harmful to your eyes and skin, wear suitable masks and clothing, it's just your normal deal. Connections to the wire input, it's got a little schematic in here. Um, Yeah, it's got some instructions. I'll read it when I get a chance. So I'm not, you know, been making a videotape, and, and I'll let you guys know, if, like, hey, this is helpful, or if it had any, like, any, uh, any help, if it was of any help at all, 
or to help me figure out anything at all, I think that I'd be ecstatic. Um, but, you know, these machines are pretty much the same, and I don't really need a lot of information. So let's open up the little bag. It's probably got TIG parts in it, I'm guessing, since I don't see any TIG stuff. And there it is. So here's our, our TIG torch. And... And it looks to be like your normal normal uh, air cold 17 torch. Now I think they have like a different designation for these ones with the hard handles uh, that are European, but I'm not really sure. And it looks like we got some kind of multi-pin adapter. There's quite a few outputs, but I'm not really sure what's going on behind the output. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight little dins in there. Huh, interesting. So it's different than what the picture was, which is kind of kind of concerning. So I saw the picture and had two pins, and being a guy that is a foot pedal guy, I went on eBay and I ordered a foot pedal for two pins. But this is eight pins, and so is so is the machine. And then it's got your normal this this will carry gas and it'll also uh, it's made of copper, or not copper, it looks like brass, and it'll carry the amps to the torch, which is what all of them do. So, man, I hope that I'm able to use that foot pedal and figure out a way to wire it in. Because this guy right here looks like it's just an on-off switch, which isn't horrible. And catch the normal. 17 call it, it looks like. Let me go grab my I'll grab my 17 torch parts and just see if they, if they line up and see if it actually is a 17 style torch. Because I got parts and parts for those guys. So I got like an adapter for 17 to 17 to 9 style torch parts. And hopefully it just screws right in. Come on. I'll just turn it counterclockwise a little bit till I feel it kind of catch and then yes. So that's a good thing. So we know that it's got a standard uh, 17 style threads in there. And since I got a bunch of old 17 style parts, um, we could probably use that or we might even modify it uh, to be more comfortable. And it's got like this little cover here, on off switch, huh, and it just clips in with some kind of, some kind of like a USB almost fitting. So I'm going to guess that it's just on and off, and that's all right. So. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because you can always set your amps a little bit on the lower side, hit your torch, and then just use it, uh, you know, kind of go a little slower than you normally would. What other parts are in here? Any other cool stuff? And then we got some backing caps and some different... Uh, different um, ceramic uh, caps. So these aren't gas lenses, so a gas lens is a bit different, it's kind of what I had on there. And uh, these are just your normal standard collet bodies, and these just like would screw on this guy. Um, which isn't horrible, I mean it will it'll get the job done. And we'll talk 
about that stuff a little later on. It's just a little bigger than what I like to use. And the back cap and some different pullets. Looks like it just comes with one standard pullet and a couple extra. So it's probably 330 seconds. That's kind of like the standard. Um, I think if I had that, so it's not a 330 seconds. It's huge. It's like a it's like a one eighth inch. So, um, but it didn't come with any tungstens or anything. That's not a big deal. So there's our machine. Uh, it came with no plug, which is normal. And like I said in the last video, uh, there's several different styles of 220 plugs. I've seen like three. I've lived in houses where I've had like three or four different styles. Um, I have two styles in my shop. I have uh, your four prong, which is common on the new houses, and then I have the standard like three prong that comes on all the Miller machines. It's just like two straight up and down plugs. It looks like a normal plug, but it's got like bigger, you know, uh, plugs. So I'll swing by Lowe's or Home Depot, and uh, actually I won't go by Home Depot. Fuck Home Depot. I'll go by Lowe's, and I'll pick up a, a cap for that so we can get it plugged into the wall. I'll probably just do the standard Miller one because um, I have an adapter for my four prong, and I can use it all over the garage, and it'll give me a little extra extension cord. So here's the machine itself. I think I'm centered. I hope I'm centered enough on this. And it looks nice. I mean, it's got a nice blue finish. Uh, it looks like powder coat, but I'm not sure. It might just be paint. And it doesn't really matter to me because I don't really care about the outside. We just need to work well, right? And on the back, we have our, our cord. And it's decent. I mean, it's got, you know, uh, probably like probably like 12 gauge wires, I would guess. And it's got your port for your gas, and that'll just hook up right to our, our regulator, which didn't come with the machine, by the way. And on the face of the machine, we got plug for our TIG torch. So we got on, off, we got down slope, and we got our amps, or current as it says, and it says post time. So I'm guessing this is the gas, and it looks like we got a uh, machine or pedal, so I don't know exactly what that does. T2 and T4, um, which is just a, a how the machine works and how, how it turns on and off and we'll have to like dig into that and what we're going to have to use for this machine and then we got I'm guessing this is the pulser so like it's either straight or maybe it's fast or slow and I don't think you get uh, much say so in like the actual speed if I'm just like looking at the machine if I was trying to figure it out someone said hey use this machine to weld and go um, I'm, I'm guessing that we have our current we have our down slope which, this could be a good thing. If it's just an on-off torch, then we can use we can use a downslope to kind of make our own pulsing, uh, which will, will determine how long it takes to trill off the, 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 the amps as it slopes down. Um, we can actually use that as a way of controlling our heat uh, if all we have is an on and off switch. So, um, yeah, so that's about it. So... 350 bucks. Uh, will it do what we needed to do? Well, we'll find out. We got pieces and parts enough to get started with. Um, the stuff we're gonna have to get is a plug. Uh, you know, you have to get all your consumables because it doesn't come with any. So we're gonna have to get tungsten, uh, filler rod. Um, it doesn't come with the, it doesn't come with a regulator. So we're gonna have to get a regulator. Uh, I have to have a have, to have an extra one of those, uh, and you'll need to take a tank of argon to get started. So um, with those things, the only thing I'm really lacking here today is just a it's just a plug. So um, and I'm not in any huge rush uh, to get up and going, but it's exciting. Uh, it should be a fun project. Uh, to, to do and see what we can get for, you know, uh, under 400 bucks. 
and and that's about it. So I'm going to be using it. Um, set this. Aside. Actually, we'll get a close up of this guy. Got my GoPro. So great. We're only at 15 minutes. So I haven't rambled too terribly much. But here's a close up of what we got going on. The face of the machine. Do hickeys. Here's that knob. You'll see it's different than what was in the photo. But that might be a good thing. That might mean because I think the two prong was just for on and off. And now with this, we'll have to do some searching. But I think that will actually have amp control if we buy the right foot pedal for it, which will probably be another fifty bucks. And torch. Say it's just on off it's got some kind of control here you know I want to say that my diversion had kind of the same thing going on where it's just kind of like this little plug so I'm thinking this guy obviously is just on off but I wonder if you could slide in a different one that would actually have like a thumb wheel so you could control um, your heat input oh, it's kind of hard to do with one and we just got some pieces and parts over here in our little bag. So let me throw these guys down on the ground real quick. And I'll show you the ongoing project. And what I think what we'll do with this, just to test it out. Sorry. Put this in while I'm getting this cleaned off. Phoenix and we got a L33 ish kind of swap going on it was one of those to place, placement on demands or active active fuel management or something like that and we swapped out the lifters and the cam and did all that stuff to convert it which wasn't too terribly bad and threw it in the engine bay here and what I'm thinking about doing kind of test this thing out is ordering some let's do like you know what I think most people would do oh, we got this man I'm bad at this bear with me oh. so we got this turbo that we need to put in the engine bay here and I think that that's what we'll do is we'll order some uh, some mild steel um, tube and we will set this thing up and do all the all the hot side with the welder and that way you guys can see like hey um, you know this is a project I would do at my house and you'll know hey it works or it's it doesn't work and that will be a good test of it. So I think I'll get on um, online and I'll find some, I think we're gonna go with a two inch kind of underneath the engine, back and around and up on the driver's side and we'll make like a like a log style manifold and we're just gonna hang this, this is a T4, uh, 78, 75 from, um, from uh, the rim at VS Racing. Uh, and we'll just do it Matt Happel style, sloppy mechanic style, except I'm, I'm going to do the opposite side that he has on his Colorado and just hang it on the driver's side. Because uh, my mind, I think I can get everything to work out there. And, and that would be a good way. That way you can say, like, hey, this is, you know, I think this is what normally people would order a TIG welder for. And I think that it would be a good project. So... That's where we're at. Uh, next updates will be wiring. I think I might go over, you know, how to get this thing up and running in your garage and maybe a few test passes. And uh, then we'll just follow along as we get this turbo um, 
put in this car and hopefully get this car running because it's been sitting in my garage way too long. So I um, hope you guys are enjoying. If you guys got questions about, you know, what's going on with the TIG welder or, you know, what you're after and what to look for, I've, I've enjoyed seeing some people kind of jump in and, and have some interest in this project. So, uh, you know, post your questions up and, and I'll try to, you know, read through them and, and see if I can address them on the next video um, or just answer them in the comments. And, uh, you know, let me know if, if there's something you're looking for or have, uh, yeah, so I'm just rambling now. So I'll just stop the video. But hey, thanks for uh, dropping in and watching the video and uh, peace.